So tell me this, like, as we look at, you know, what's going on in Florida, like, what are your thoughts in regards to just the, the efforts that Ron DeSantis is taking to really undermine teachers, specifically training? Like, why do you feel like teacher training is necessary? Or maybe you don't. Um, I think, go ahead. <laughs> one, I think he's a t- terrible human. Um, two, Touché. thank you. Um, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, but two, teacher training is incredibly essential. But even beyond that, before that, I think about the hiring process, teacher hiring, because mm-hmm. are we creating opportunities for us to really understand who an educator is going into the classroom, who a human being is going into the classroom? Because mm. I also believe that there are so many other things that can allow for a great educator. And the reason I say this is because um, I worked with an amazing organization called Future Leaders Incubator uh, based out of Brooklyn. And I was doing consulting with them. And we were um, working around an educator pipeline for those who uh, have taken a non-traditional path into wanting to go into education. So it may not, you may have not gotten your master's in education, but you got, or, you know, a bachelor's in education or whatever it is, or it took you six years to, to, you know, complete your degree. Um, Or, you know, you were working multiple jobs. We're looking at what are the life experiences in addition to that. So I think it's a culmination. It's thinking about the hiring process. I think it's about looking at who is from the community and how do we ensure that our people who are from the community are in front of our babies? I think it's yep. thinking about um, really uh, just uh, culturally responsive. I keep saying that, but really understanding what quality teacher training looks like. So it's first thinking about what's the history of our community? What is the history of education in our community? Where are kids from? And then going into, you know, what does it mean to be uh, curiosity-led when it comes to, you know, working with children? Um, Thinking about, once again, social-emotional learning and how to embed that in every single part of our day versus uh, thinking of it from a box curriculum like earlier. Um, I think teacher training is so essential because we need to know the the, the adults that are in front of our babies, and mm. and and yeah, um, yeah. I think just saying that you can take a a six week not <laughs> even course, yeah, nothing, right? Yeah. Just like a course, a seminar per se, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and now you're good to go, right? And because you were a veteran, yeah. <laughs> Which I, I'm just like, how does that, what does that have to do with, with this, this? Right. And also, what is it that qualifies that to be in front of our babies who are already experiencing so much right now, which I'm sure as a veteran, you have to, you know? Absolutely. And it's not like there have been mental health resources for veterans. Exactly. It's not as if they have been able to acquire the support that they need in response to what they have gone through. So why would that be the group, the pool Mm -hmm. that is best to pull from, to put in front of such influenced minds, like such easily... um, also, like, also, kids are annoying. Yeah. Like, can you handle it? Can you handle 33 <laughs> kindergartners in one classroom? Because that's real. Can, <laughs> yeah. Because that's... That's real. I mean, I remember when my homegirl, uh, we graduated and she became a teacher and she had like 25, five, you know, five-year-olds and she lost her voice. Because yeah. she was like, I just, I'm like yelling. And she was like, I realized like I have to find another yeah. way. Like this is not good. And she was like, I'm not even like yelling at them. I'm just like trying to yell uh, over yeah. them. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to get them to corral. That kind of energy but, is you're literally doing a performance every day on stage <laughs> for your children. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it's interesting because I, 
really see that with you guys. Like, I mean, uh, one of the other educators we had on the podcast, Valencia Valencia, like mm. she was saying, I mean, Valencia de la, de la Clay, like she was saying how she had wanted to go into like acting or, you know, something of, of that type. And I feel like so many of the best educators I know are performers. Yeah. <laughs> like they're in front of a class and they're giving you a show, yes. honey. They're giving you a show. 